Home of SPL side Kilmarnock is the venue for this year's Emirates Junior Cup final. Hot favourites Auckland like Talbot arrived in confident mood, looking to get their hands on the famous trophy for the ninth time. The 18,000 capacity stadium was hosting the 125th Junior Cup final, bringing the curtain down on another exciting Emirates Cup campaign. 162 clubs entered the competition way back in October, and now Auckland like Talbot and Musselburgh Athletic are the last team standing. Excited Talbot fans piled into the ground in their thousands in anticipation of their second cup triumph in three seasons. A Brian Young strike in extra time sent the bot faithful into raptures. As referee Greg Aitken blew the final whistle, Talbot fans savoured their side's victory. Auckland like manager Tommy Sloan Claims the side were worthy winners. We finished for us, but um, I think we deserved it. I think we de definitely deserved it. We had to keep a bit of composure about us. I thought we lost our shape a wee bit and near the end of the game. We had to keep a bit of composure at that time. And the goal we scored to win, it was excellent. The gaffer also took time to praise his match-winning winner. He's the most confident man in the world, wee Brian, uh, to be honest with you. And he, He's gave the goal of the eyes a wee bit and put it in the near post. It's a great finish. Uh, but oh, it, it was excellent all day. I thought at 1-0 we were going to push on and, and we could have had a couple more, but I don't know what it was, maybe just the nerves. The fact that we were overwhelming favourites. I don't know what that played into the boys' minds a wee bit. Uh, I didn't think that'd be a factor the day, but you can never tell. Musselburgh played well on the day and, and pushed us all the way, but I think extra time, the superior fitness showed. A great finish, it was a typical Go for him, go the ball down, kid on his spirit on one side and slew it into the other side. So, fantastic. Uh, I want to go to win a final. Hero of the year, Brian Young, admits nerves and tiredness got the better of him before he scored the crucial second goal. Shattered. Shattered. I could have done my foot. Do you know, I could have been up the road now in the uh, open top bus. Can have for not, but to uh, be honest, fantastic. This is what we wanted, wasn't it? Apart for the one each, but I was a wee bit shaky. Squeaky bomb time, wasn't it? <laughs> It's great the way it's worked out and fantastic score winner. I'm looking forward to it, you know all the boys saying what a goal it was. I'll play it down a wee bit, but it was some goal, wasn't it? Meanwhile, back in Auckland Lake, fans were filtering onto the streets for the victory parade through the town. Some were even searching for the best vantage point to catch a glimpse of their heroes. players returned to a police escort and a hero's reception and the boys even managed not to drop the trophy from the top of the bus. The skipper even admitted the scenes awaiting them in the town was a huge motivation to win the cup. That's obviously one of the main reasons to win this trophy. It's not just to win the trophy, to get a medal, it's to get the party back off the light as well. Even a bridge couldn't call a halt to proceedings, as Auckland Light prepared for a party to run well into the wee small ways. Fans walk for miles just to see their triumphant Talbot side. <laughs> After a long journey back from Rugby Park, everyone was waiting to have a few small refreshments at the clubhouse. Captain Brian Slaven returned home with the trophy and the party could begin. Oh, it's heavy alright, aye! <laughs>